think we're also joined by Anish Giri, if I'm not mistaken. Anish, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. I hear you. Wow, um, Anish, a long quarterfinal uh, day ending with just one loss in a blitz game. What's your reaction to this? Yeah, it was not a very good game, I felt. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. You know, when you analyze blitz games, it's always hard to like really analyze them because you have to play on instinct and uh, you cannot regret your instincts, you know. It's just <laughs> so in a way, yeah, I just... I mean, I probably was a little tired. He too, in a way. Uh, I think the game was uh, shaky by both uh, both of us. Like he said, he had a few options that he missed. And um, yeah, I, ch I sort of, I chose not to do the right moves where I saw them and uh, ended up missing some tactics. And in the end, uh, I was hope getting a bit hopeful because he was really low on time the whole time. But I guess the position was just lost uh, for, for like a large part of the game already. Mm. And Anish, with the form that we've seen you in lately and the form we've seen Timur Ajabov been in lately, maybe you are the two players in the best form right now. Is it down to the fact that you guys faced each other in the quarterfinals? I mean, anyone else? And, and do you think you would be in the semifinals? Mm, not so sure. I mean, it's really like, uh, like you know, uh, pick your poison kind of situation. I mean, it's not like Wesley So is, uh, is a walk in the park. <laughs> I mean, the guy is so incredibly good. And uh, also, of course, Magnus is tremendous. Dubov is very dangerous. Um, so he can certainly knock anyone out at any point, as we had seen. Honestly, there were, I mean, at this stage, there's just no easy opponent uh, between us, you know, like just, yeah. I, I mean, Taimur is a very good player, that's for sure. Um, but I felt I would have my chances and I did, but uh, okay. I think it was a roughly equal match, uh, I would say. You know, there were, um, in the end, he prevailed for sure. Uh, the final game, he played uh, he played better. But I think there were some sort of chances going back and forth, some small chances, some big chances, sort of an equal match. And I would expect the same kind of equal uh, match against any of the other players. They were all very good. First of all, only great players are invited. And secondly, there is a qualification phase. So there is just, you cannot really have a lucky pairing uh, here. It's not this kind of tournament. Mm. And Anish, the second tie-break loss for you now in only a matter of uh, a few days, actually, or a week. Um, are you feeling really disappointed about this now? Or are you taking positives away from this? Well, I mean, you know, when you have a uh, knockout tournament uh, one after the other, it's uh, you will end up losing a lot of tie-breaks. It's, <laughs> you know, it's just a format. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, in the knockout tournaments in general, um, we discussed it once with my trainer a long time ago. Like the knockout events are such that unless you are the winner of it, you are going to be um, leaving with a bad feeling anyway, right? Because you mm -hmm. you either lost um, the early stage or the late stage. No matter how late, you are always unhappy to lose. So of course, yeah. But uh, I think my level was okay. My level was really fine. And today it was not really shame. It was not really shameful. It's hard to play blitz, of course. So after rapid, but I think today was a good solid day. Um, and uh, the qualification phase was very good. I think my play is good. My preparation is uh, getting better with time. Uh, I, I worked uh, quite hard for the Vikings A tournament. I will continue working hard for the candidates now. So I think, um, yeah, I'm not really uh, worried. But of course, um, short term, yeah, it wasn't good to lose today. Uh, of course, I was hoping to, to keep on going and, uh, you know, how much I wanted my date um, on the 14th. Yeah, with Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> And anyone really at this point, you know, I <laughs> take anyone at this point. That's true. <laughs> but, uh, sure, yeah. And Anish, earlier we had Owen Lamy on uh, as a guest and he was telling us some about the psychology. Juicy details. And, exactly, <laughs> all the dirty secrets. Um, <laughs> Erwin knows too much, Erwin knows too much. I don't know what he had told you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you plan to unwind now? You've been playing for a few weeks pretty much non-stop. Mm. Um, will you take some time off before you start working for those candidates or back to the grind tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I I kind of really look forward to, uh, to work on chess somehow. I don't really know why, so I'm afraid I will not be able to, to rest. But uh, sooner or later, I will uh, definitely end up taking some rest. But right now, I'm kind of really in the chess mood, you know. I spent so much, so many days like preparing and playing and preparing that I really feel eager tomorrow to look at chess again. And hope, hope my colleagues will not disappoint me and uh, give me also some juicy um, some juicy games to follow. <laughs> Fantastic, Anish. Thank you again for, for entertaining chess in the tournament. And we'll see you later, definitely. Thank you. See you next time.